Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up for soon the slaves of the beast shall be liberated. Stand up. Stand. Stand up. Stand up and rejoice for your one true savior, Bray Wyatt. The beast cometh. The beast is all around us, man. The beast, he lives in each and every one of you. He's the leash that society wraps around your neck. Yeah, man. He's the reason your children, they can't sleep at night. The beast is coming. He's that voice in the back of your head that tells you not to stand and fight, but instead to run. <laughs> but me, I, I'm in control, man. And soon, I will rip open the chest of the beast and I will feast right on his black heart. <laughs> the beast will die the most brilliant of deaths <laughs> at the hands of your one true savior, Bray Wyatt. Uh, at Extreme Rules. Four, four, four men will suffer. And I will begin my brilliant crusade to slay the beast once and for all. Because I alone can protect you. I alone can protect you. I ask you to stand up. I alone can protect you. <laughs> well, yeah. You think Seth Rollins can protect you? Well, let me tell you a little secret. Seth Rollins, his destiny ends in malice. Ask me how I know. Please, ask me how I know. <laughs> because I sacrificed Seth Rollins. And what about Samoa Joe? Well, I sacrificed Samoa Joe too. <laughs> because in my world, there are no friends. There are only followers. Don't believe me? Just ask Finn Balor. You see, you see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You, each and every one of you, you try to live vicariously right through him. But I promise at the end of this that even the demon himself will see the truth. That only I can slay the beast. That only Bray Wyatt can slay the beast. I say stand up. But lest we forget, there is a fifth. <laughs> a man that claims this whole place to be his yard. Roman Reigns. Well, I wanted to ask Roman Reigns a question myself. Roman, if I may be so bold, what does one little silly yard mean to a man that owns the world? And I say, stand up. This is my world. If you're gonna run your mouth in my yard, I suggest you do it to my face. <laughs> oh, Roman. It's good to see you too, old friend. <laughs> but, uh, 
I see nothing has changed, man. You still always just let your temper get the best of you. But here's the skinny man. I am the truth. And I am the only one here that can beat Brock Lesnar. That's not gonna happen, bro. Because at Extreme Rules, I'm gonna beat four guys. And that includes you. And then I'm gonna move on. And I'm gonna beat Brock Lesnar. And that, my old friend, that's the truth. But I'm not worried about Extreme Rules right now. The only thing on my mind is how I'm gonna get your ass out of my yard. as general manager, that's for sure. Hold up, Ray. The fatal five-way match in Extreme Rules could very well be the most important match of the new era. Right now, I'm looking at two of the odds-on favorites in that match. But what I want to know is who's going to carry the momentum going into Extreme Rules. I don't want to find out next week. I don't even want to find out later tonight. I like Roman's idea of Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt right now. So give me a referee out here right now. Oh, it's true. It's You got to love it. <laughs> hey. You just stole my line, man. <laughs> Talk about kicking off Raw with a bang. A renewal of a bitter rivalry. Roman versus Bray live next.